What's howling, Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Tuesday, November 6th. I'm Angela, and this is my co anchor, Jesse. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Calling all La Mesa students. The first kickoff week for Safe School Ambassadors has begun. Today you should be wearing your brightest neon clothes and celebrate Look on the Bright Side Day. Tomorrow it's Blackout Day. Wear black and block out the haters. Thursday is Rainbow Day. Show your support for the LGBTQA community and wear the rainbow. This Friday is No One Eats Alone Day. Find someone new and invite them to sit with you. Robotics meetings are Thursday at 3.20 to 4.30. There will be a parent meeting on Thursday at 4.15 in room 505. There are many items on the lost and found rack outside the main office. If you've lost something, you should check to see if it's your, if it's there, and everything remaining will be donated by Thanksgiving. Students, there will be no dude be nice club meeting today due to voting in the MPO. Attention to five students attending tomorrow's Youth Summit field trip. Please check in with your teachers today regarding any work you will be missing tomorrow. Also, please check in with your C-period teacher tomorrow morning and then report immediately to the bus loop at 8.40 a.m. See you tomorrow. From time to time, our La Mesa Live reporters discover something we think you'll find interesting about our school. In this upcoming interview, we are very happy to introduce you to a new teacher on our campus. Enjoy. Uh, no, uh, this is actually my 20th year teaching at La Mesa. I uh, taught here for like 19 years, went to the high school for a couple of years, and then now I'm back. Oh, I absolutely love history. Uh, my students will tell you this, that I just love all the connections that people can make with just historical information. I, I just really love the subject matter. I love to see them engage in the material and build skills as they're going along. Well, one of my favorite units, if you would scroll right up here, is Rome. Um, I love the fact that we start with the Roman Empire because the students, there's a lot to connect off of it later in the year as we learn about Islam, China, Japan, it all kind of connects back to, to Europe. miss this curriculum. Um, I taught U.S. history at the high school, but world history is really my love um, because you get to take a grand tour around the world and visit all of these cultures during the Middle Ages, so kids get a chance to compare that. Um, I like how she, he's teaching us Africa and it's just really fun because he's explaining it and going at everybody's pace, at going like the average speed of a person in our class. Mr. King makes learning history more fun by going ahead and making it more humorous and fits in with what we want and not with like the, like the spectrum of what other kids or other teachers would go ahead and do. He makes all the learning interactive and it makes it fun to learn about the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, and etc. Volleyball tournament continues. 
Congratulations to Drip to Hoy for winning the second game. The teams that are playing today are Court Crushers 2.0, Two Feet, Strikers, and the Astros. On Thursday, November 8th, teams Bearwoods, Enmaze, Poppers, and Flennards will be playing. Please be at the gym within five minutes of the lunch bell. Remember, if you don't show up, you will be eliminated from the volleyball tournament. We hope to see you there. Today in history. On November 6th, 1860, Abraham Lincoln became the first Republican to be elected as President of the United States. Today is also the birthday of Academy Award winning actress Emma Stone. She is 30 years old. The word of the day for today is capitalism. It is a noun. The definition is economic system based on private ownership and competition free enterprise. A sample sentence would be, before I received my allowance, my father lectured me about opportunities of capitalism and earning my own income. Something you should know about today. Today is natural, National Nachos Day. In their simplest form, nachos are to tortilla chips covered in nacho cheese or other melted cheese and served with salsa. Nachos can be made quickly and served as a snack an appetizer, or prepared with extra ingredients as a full meal. It is believed that Ignacio Na Nacho Anaya created the original nachos in the city of Pedras Negras, Mexico, just across the border from Eagle Pass, Texas. The story talks of a group of United States military wives stationed at Fort Duncan in Eagle Pass who traveled to Piedras Negras on a shopping trip. Following shopping, they arrived late to a restaurant after it had closed for the day. Ignacio Nacho Anaya served them a snack, which he invented from what little was available in the kitchen, tortillas and cheese. Anaya cut the tortillas into triangles, topped them with shredded cheddar, cheese, and quickly heated them. He then added sliced jalapeno peppers and served them to the ladies. When Anaya was asked what the dish was called, he replied, Nachos Especialis. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For Angelo and the entire crew of La Mesa Life, I'm Jesse. Have a tasty Tuesday.